All right, now on to the last column of the brochure. Now, in column one, we have our company address, our phone number, and email. In the last column, I'd like to make this look professional and put in a map of where we are located. So for, for my company, I'm located in San Francisco. I'm gonna go into Safari, and I'm going to Google, again, 0.5, space, make sure you put the period and not the comma, space, x, per, uh, space, and then another period, and a 5. So 0. 0.5 by 0. 0.5, pick of map of, and for me it's going to be San Francisco. You're going to put in your city. I'm going to pick one and hold my finger down and I guess I'll pick one over here and add it to photos. I'm going to go into my photos. I'm going to try it once again. I'm going to hold my finger down on the picture, add to photos, see if it works. Go into my photos and it did not work. So I'm going to try a different picture. This is good that I'm having difficulties. So maybe if you are to have difficulties, you'll know what to do. So I'm going to hold my finger down on one of the pictures doesn't really matter which map. Add it to photos, see if I can get it to add to photos. There we go. Okay, so it's in my photos. I'm gonna click edit, crop, and try to get it smaller somehow. or square-like, click Done, and see what happens when I click Plus Image from Photos. Okay, I'm gonna click Center Alignment so that it looks like it's spaced appropriately. I'm gonna click Return and type the word Directions. I'm gonna hit return, and I'm gonna hit the numbered bullet. Now, I don't want my numbered bullets center aligned, so I'm gonna hit left alignment up in the toolbar, left alignment, and I'm gonna give five fake directions on how uh, someone would find my company. And again, you're making this up, but you're making it sound real. So I'm gonna just say, go two miles, on route 22, period, return. Turn, or I'm gonna just say take exit 35, period, turn left, on to Main Street, go six miles, and the last direction, we are located on the left. and hit return twice. So, I'm not liking how the directions um, 
I want them a little bit more over to the left if possible. So I'm going to try something and see if I can get it more over to the left, but I'm not sure if I can. So let me just try this and I'm going to hit the left. Nope, it's not letting me. Okay, so I'm going to have to just be happy with where the words are and that's fine. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to make a coupon so that people will want to buy our products and services because they'll feel like they're getting a sale or a coupon. So the last thing we're gonna do is insert another little box inside of this table. So we're gonna hit the plus table. And we want it one column by one row and click insert. Now, I'm gonna click return to make this into a bigger box. And I'm going to, do you see where the gray bars are on the sides of the box? When you hit the gray thicker lines on the outside of the box, it actually will delete, I'm sorry, it will actually select the table that you just created. So um, you'll see that it's in blue, it's selected. I am going to change this to, to look different. So once it's selected by hitting those little gray bars, you see that it's selected, you're gonna go up to the A and you are going to change the borders to maybe a different color. I'm gonna change mine to maybe red and I'm going to change the width to maybe six. And I'm going to change the border dash to something like that to make it look like a coupon. So now you can see this little coupon type thing that they can kind of clip out. And I'm gonna just type some words inside of it. Um, Get 20% off with this coupon. Okay, so I have some extra spaces here I'm going to get rid of. And I'm gonna select my words once again. Select. I'm gonna go up to the A in the upper right hand corner and click text. I'm gonna bold it, maybe change the color of the words, maybe to blue, maybe change the, the font size, and then maybe hit center alignment. There's one more thing I want to do, and that is I want to select those gray bars again to select the outside of this table, the lines where the dashes are. I want them selected by hitting the gray bars, and then I'm going to hit the paint bucket up in the toolbar. And I think I'm going to just kind of color fill so that it looks like a coupon. And that concludes the brochure. Now the only thing I want you to do uh, lastly is to go back over to column one and if you select the gray bars that are surrounding column one so that it selects just the lines of column one, you can go back up to A, actually, sorry, you can, you have to get rid of the words there and hit the paint bucket. Actually, I gotta try it again. Hit. It's kind of hard to see. Paint bucket and 
maybe make it a color that you think will be beneficial to see um, all of your words. You don't want to make it too dark because then you won't be able to read your text. Um, I might even go back and change my directions and maybe make that a different color as well. You can play around with it and see what you like. Um, but again, you should know how to change your text color at this point. And you should know that just by looking at your brochure, everything should look balanced um, and purposeful. If you need to add more spaces, you can always add more spaces by hitting the return. Or delete if you want to take away spaces. That concludes the brochure activity.